Hello everyone, welcome to our learning series of how to use Unreal Engine for architectural visualization. In this video, we're gonna create a drone bound that can be used in exploring our uh, project example here through flying around and discovering some areas that cannot be explored through the ArcVis character or the VR bound. So to create a drone bound, we can use an easy method by duplicating our, our ArcVis character and let's name this as drone bound so and drag this into our uh, scene here and just position it somewhere here up to top level I'm just gonna hit G so to see the, the bound and one of the cool features that Epic Games have developed and in their latest uh, blueprints for the character movements is that you will find uh, and some of the some of the features inside this uh, character uh, options is that they have also enabled the character movement settings so if we go to the character movements the general settings we will find that there is a default land movement mode so I'm gonna put this into flying and this is gonna be like step one to put the character or the, to put the drone in a specific level and put it onto a flying mode and below that also we can start to set up some of the settings that we can have with, uh, with the drone for example the speed and other stuff so for example if we go down there uh, we'll find that for flying character movements we'll find that there is a maximum uh, fly speed so we can adjust this let's say for example if we want to minimize the speed a little bit this is gonna affect how the drone will move uh, among the project uh, space okay so the next step we're gonna open our uh, drone uh, blueprint and we're gonna also add uh, an input function that gonna be used inside the drone bound blueprints to enable uh, these function uh, to be activated when we start pressing so I'm just gonna open the project settings and through the input we're gonna add another uh, access mapping we're gonna call this for example uh, drone fly okay Next, we're gonna add uh, the keyboard button that will uh, enable us to fly and uh, do like uh, a sync like uh, the drone is coming down. So uh, we have our uh, main character movements have been assigned to the normal uh, keyboard uh, keys. So I'm gonna put the, let's say for example, to fly up, we're gonna put it like um, a cube, for example, and for to sink down we're gonna put it let's say for example E uh, it's gonna be the E uh, keyboard shortcut so this is gonna be this one I'm gonna make it like minus one so now we have our input we're gonna call this inside our uh, the drone bone uh, uh, blueprint so we're gonna go call uh, the drone flying this is the access event that we just created and uh, we're gonna create a branch from this so this is to help us uh, define uh, what is exactly the type of moments we're gonna create and we're gonna create two more variables uh, for this one let's say for example the first one is gonna be uh, the fly rate example and then we're gonna make sure that uh, the fly rate va uh, is a va actually a float variable and we're gonna create also another variable so uh, the opposite of uh, fly rate let's just find a name that will represent as the drone goes down so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing let's say for example sync uh, rate for example just anything to uh, to be useful to understand what is what does it means so we have a fly rate and we have a sync rate so out of this branch we're gonna add uh, movements input and this is gonna be representing uh, both movements for the 
the fly rate and also for the sync we're gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna drag uh, from the axis value if uh, for the variable uh, a, mul a multiplication a float bar a float and I'm gonna drag our let's say for example first the fly rate and we have to make sure that we set up uh, a rate for the fly up so let's start for example uh, by a value for uh, 5 for example and this is gonna be representing how fast the drone will go up and also the same thing uh, float by float and this is gonna be the, the scale value and also the sync rate <coughs> and let's put the same uh, value that seems here 5 is okay we're gonna connect uh, the false condition and we're gonna set up let's say for example if this is uh, a float by less by a float and then we can apply when the condition is actually can be start uh, to start to be applied for the true and false so this is the basic blueprint of the drone uh, bone. We're gonna go now and create our widget for this drone so we can be able to choose it and switch it between the character. So I'm gonna choose uh, the character and control W to uh, duplicate it. So we're gonna drag it here as it was uh, assigned on the alignment tool. And I have an image that I have imported earlier. Just download this from the internet, just the basic drone. Uh, image i guess the size is okay and let's uh, assign the same thing just browse this image inside our uh, content browser and assign it on the hovered uh, layer and also on the breast so and let's name this as a drone also sorry about that drone and let's go to the graph and the same thing we did with the character and the vr on clicked when we click on this drone i'm gonna duplicate this blueprint the basic one that we created just delete the copy because we need first to assign our drone uh, bone and let's get a copy i'm just gonna write a copy and connect this to the boss this so basically and when we uh, have our presentation on we can switch between the character so let's see how this is gonna run now hopefully it will run uh, smoothly and hit play walk through and actually it started with the drone so from the character to the drone so when i click just one uh, click on the keyboard as you can see start to uh, smoothly fly around just as a constant value that has been set up on inside the the, the character of uh, the, the character or the bone uh, the drone uh, settings so if I click on Q it's gonna go up and also for uh, on the E uh, keyboard button that we have assigned later uh, before sorry uh, earlier on the setup so uh, again you can adjust these rates uh, you can slow them down let's say for example by two and compile and let's try again so I'll walk through and we are on the drone so if we go you can see now it's a little bit slower than before and this is will enable you actually to um, to fly around in this example actually it's, it's not really useful but sometimes if you have a bigger project this can be really be useful for the viewer of this presentation as they can actually uh, inspect some areas that uh, can be very difficult uh, to see uh, from um, uh, a lower uh, point of view or also from the VR in case someone doesn't uh, will not be able to uh, adjust it so again you can also adjust uh, the movements or the flying uh, settings of the of the character so you can see that there is a maximum fly speed let's set this for example as 200 let's play again and see how this is gonna go so yeah so now it's a little bit slower than before and again i'm just clicking one uh, click on the keyboard and the the drone bone start to fly around uh, inside our scene if i want to switch back to the human character immediately it'll switch back to the human character and we can also switch to the vr uh, bone 
So um, uh, now we have our setup. Uh, we have set up. Sorry about that. Just uh, there is no collusion on this uh, object. We have set up our basic uh, bone that uh, can be uh, used in this presentation. Again, uh, you can start creating uh, your um, preferred method of how you wanna uh, move inside your all your scene uh, or your project. So uh, this uh, this is the basic idea of how to switch between three different uh, bone uh, system. And uh, hopefully this was uh, easy enough for you to uh, to set up uh, the drone uh, bone. Again, if you have any question, please share it down in the comments. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.